So in this video, I wanted to take a quick look at a newly released pen from Uniball. It's called the 207 Plus uh, Plus. I'll probably just call it the 207 Plus in this video, but if you see the name, it's literally the 207 Plus with a plus sign afterwards. And what this is, it's a follow-up or an upgrade, depending on what you want to call it, to the original Uniball Signo 207, which has been out for a very long time. The 207 was sort of, uh, I would say, upgraded already with the Uniball 307, but that never got very popular. So the 207 stuck around. It wasn't ever replaced by the 307, but now we see the 207 Plus, which, and it's not really clear whether this will be a replacement for the 207 or just a sort of premium version of it, but they're both out now. And if you go to Uniball or some other places, even Amazon and others now, I think you can buy this 207 Plus Plus. I bought this one directly from Uniball, which I've never done before, but it worked out really well. These pens cost, again, direct from Uniball, uh, $2.85 each. So what is different between the U Uniball 207 Plus Plus and the standard Uniball 207? You can see they're pretty much the same pen, which is good because the 207 has been really strong and you don't want to mess with this formula, but there are some differences. First of all, we'll see the uh, branding is slightly different. The 207 Plus, which is on the top here, and I'll keep it on the top, is uh, has dropped the Signo branding. Signo branding has always been stronger in the Japanese market pens, where in the U.S. has never really taken off. Usually they just call it the Uniball. With the Japanese models, they call it the Signo DX or the Signo whatever it is. Uh, so you don't see it as much in the U.S., and it looks like it's it's gone, or more or less gone. The uh, 207 Plus is here, instead of just the bold 207. I mean, this is a bold, it's a one dental millimeter. Normally it would just say 207. Clips are the same, buttons are the same, grips are the same, which is the most important thing. The grip is really the heart of this pen. And then the other big difference is right here, the barrel, it's still plastic, but instead of being this smoke, which is like a kind of a translucent gray that was always on the 207. Now it is this, Uniball calls it metallic, but it's basically these vertical, sorry, horizontal lines. And this is just, I'm guessing it's a sticker or maybe it's printed on the plastic. You could barely, barely feel it. Like if you go with your fingernail, I'm sorry, your finger, you can't really feel it. If you rub your nail up and down, you could barely get a little bit of texture. So it doesn't do anything for grip. It just adds a little bit of texture there, and it's really just for appearance's sake. So from the exterior of the pen, the only real difference aside from branding is that the barrel has this metallic finish on it. Again, it's not metal, it's just metallic. All the other little subtle things are the same. You can see it says Japan there, Japan there, no different there. The grips are, from what I could tell, basically identical. The front piece still uses that faux chrome plastic, uh, which is, you know, it's fine. Usually I really don't like it, but Uniball does it pretty well and has those little cut out, those dimples or whatever. So that's, that's nice. Again, clip and button are the same. Click is still the same. So it's essentially the same pen with a metallic uh, finish here. If you open the pen up, now we get into the real difference between the 207 Plus and the 207, it's that Uniball upgraded the ink. The refills will look the same, so let's be clear there, but they are actually different. The uh, 207 Plus uses a new refill that is called the Uniball Super Ink Plus, and you'll know that because it's the, uh, this is gonna be a little bit hard to make out on the video, let's see if we could pick it up without any sort of fancy macro setup, but this is the, uh, there you go, the UMR 87E gel ink refill. The older pens use this, this is the UMR 87. So you're looking for that E at the end, and that means you'll have the Uniball Super Ink Plus Plus, as opposed to just the standard Uniball Super Ink. The Plus Plus, it's uh, basically just a little bit better than the previous ink. It doesn't have any qualities the other one didn't have, but 
it's slightly smoother and I believe more, a little bit more water resistant, a little bit more fade resistant, and uh, a little bit more fraud resistant. So it's basically a slightly improved version of the old ink, but it's still, the 207 remains a great gel ink. The 207 Plus is designed to have a slightly better gel ink. Uh, from the weight standpoint and everything else, the, the pens are identical. So this is a very, very slight upgrade on the 207. The, uh, the last thing I would note is that the 207 was really nice, which was sold in 0 0.38, 0 0.5, 0 0.7, and 1.0 millimeter. So basically a full line of gel or rollerball style. I mean, those are like gel and rollerball size tips, but the uh, 207 plus is only sold right now in 0.7 millimeter. Maybe they'll expand that out in the future. I really don't know. With the 307, they never really expanded out past 0.5 and 0.7 millimeter millimeter you can't buy a 307 in bold uh if for that you still need that 207 at least it was the last time i checked we'll do a quick writing test and we'll see if we could detect any differences there's really not a whole lot to see here though we will start off with the this is the uniball 207 plus plus 0 0.7 millimeter and this is in the blue. It's nice, smooth. The blue color is like kind of light, almost like a, uh, I'll say turquoise, but it has a little bit of a, uh, a light uh, teal tone to it. It's, I mean, it's definitely blue, but it's got like a hint of green or something in it. We will test out now. This is the Uniball 207 Plus Plus in black. I couldn't buy just one, of course, if I was doing a special order from Uniball. I had to buy a whole bunch of pens couldn't help myself 207 plus plus 0 0.7 and it is a nice dark black this is a, a really great gel pen in the black I like it in blue too and it writes really nicely it's just like not my favorite blue color now we will move over to the 207 I have it in the bold body but I think at some point I swapped it out for a different refill yeah so this is the uh it's still it's the right refill let's just see what color i put in there i think it looks green yeah so this is the uniball 207.7 millimeter and that's the green so the green is a little bit light too just like the blue uh, it is really nice and smooth. It feels a little bit more watery than the other one, the previous ones, and maybe not quite as smooth as the newer ones, but it's a little bit hard to tell because this pen is a little bit older, but uh, it is a really nice gel refill. And just to confirm, because it's not matching clearly, I was, I did switch up at some point. UMR 87. So it's definitely the right refill. We're good there. Uh, I just, again, put a blue in, uh, put a green in. I probably get that. I got the uh, 207 Bold refill, which is one of my favorites. And I probably put into a pen body I felt like using at some point. So that is a quick review of the Uniball 207 Plus Plus. It is uh, basically the same thing as the 207 with slightly better ink. Uh, the ink, I would say, is better on paper. When I'm actually using the ink day to day, it doesn't really feel much different. Uh, if I was choosing between the two, I would probably still get the plus. I mean, all things being equal, I would buy the plus plus. If I wanted a 0.38 millimeter or 1.0 millimeter, I would definitely get the old version and not feel bad about it. The 207 is still a great pen. The 307 is a great pen, but uh, the plus plus will probably be the one to look out for for now if, you're, if you want a 0.7 millimeter, millimeter. Otherwise, just stick with what you're going to buy anyway. With the upgrade from the older model to the new one is pretty slight. So that should cover it. If you try these out and you have any comments, please let me know in the comments below. Thanks for watching.